Hi, here we are again, week 67, living with Alzheimer's. And uh, wow, the weeks do go past very, very, very quickly. Just had a look at last week's video. And uh, yeah, I said that I was going to talk about pets um, because I had a, a great bit of trouble with, um, with our big old cat, uh, Tom, who was uh, playing around with the, um, the video stand. And, uh, and and rocking the camera. So, you know, this week I'm going to have a, a lighter week and I'm, I'm going to talk a little bit about, about pets and what they really do for people, or what they do for me, in actual fact. Now, every week, or most weeks, when I sit here and make a video, there is three cats, and they generally lie about here, and for some reason they tend to get close and they need to be here or there's one that wants to come in the patio doors or there's something going on as, as far as the cats go so this week i got the stand all set up um, set the camera up and looking around all the cats have gone out there isn't one so the very week that i do a video about pets they aren't here for the last 66 weeks they've been here so isn't that ironic? Typical cats. One thing about pets is that they're a source of entertainment. And for somebody with dementia, for somebody like me, I think that the beauty of having an animal is that they're always there, well, most of the time, except for today. And they're always doing various things and stuff and, and antics and getting up to all sorts of, of, of problems. Um, the thing about a dog or a cat is that a dog has always been a dog and always will be. A cat has always been a cat and, and also always will be. Um, I don't know if I've ever told you this before, but my father is at a nursing home. Um, he's had Alzheimer's for uh, probably 20 years plus, maybe 25 now. And he's soon be 92, I believe. Yeah, 92. Many, many years ago, we had a dog, a little Jack Russell called Patch. And just to give you a little idea of, of how things go, um, in the home where he is, a lady brought a little dog in, a little Jack Russell. And um, I don't think that we've mentioned Patch for many years, and he's probably been dead 30 years plus maybe and um, as soon as this little Jack Russell came in to where father was sitting his first words were and I remember it very very well oh there's Patch hello Patch it was Patch it was the same dog now I'd like to think that uh, that it brought him back to probably 30 years plus ago it's it it struck a memory now we have we have three cats and very often I forget their names. Um, I get their names wrong or I get in a little bit of a muddle with them. But the, the, the beauty is that cats don't really care. They don't care if I've got dementia. They don't care if I've got any other terrible disease. As far as they're concerned, I'm still me. Um, they're not really interested in in whether I have dementia or not. They're just interested in, is there a warm lap at night time? Um, is the guy going to treat me okay? And do I get fed? They are the sort of elements that um, that they really go for. It's it, it's good to have something, I suppose, to to look after. Because the, the problem is that very often, I find personally, with not being able to drive and the many things that I can't do now, dementia is taken away. I find I rely on others more and more for various things, every day to day stuff. But with, with the cats, they really rely on me. And I, I when during the day when, when I'm here, I have to feed them, I have to let them in, let them out. I mean, there is a cat flap, but cats being cats, they don't want to use the cat flap. They want to go through the, the most difficult door there is to open in the whole house because that's what they are. And all of these things mean that they rely on me, which, which is still a great thing for me. It gives me a purpose. It's still something that the cats need me. Okay, yes, I do need them. 
but also they need me. And it's it's great to have that that need that somebody needs me to do stuff for them. We've lived in the same house now for 25 years. And over the last, I think it must be getting on for 15 years, we have fed hedgehogs. We have hedgehogs in the front garden and at the back of the property. And we have many hedgehogs here, lots and lots and lots, over the last 15 years, even some little right tiny ones. So we have, we've had many generations of hedgehogs. And every night, and I don't think, I think I'm right in saying, I'm sure my wife would bag up on this, I have never forgotten to feed the hedgehogs. During the summer, it's it, it's quite late when I feed them because it doesn't get dark until then. And obviously this time of year now, starting to change a little bit, but we feed them. It gives another sense of purpose. It's me, my job. I have to feed the hedgehogs. So it's what I do. We have all sorts of wildlife about here. Um, we've got quite a large garden and we try to cater for... Uh, butterflies, insects, bees, and, and all of that sort of thing. Um, my wife in my book here wrote a little note that the other day I found a bee on the driveway and I gave it some sugar water and revived it. Um, apparently, I don't actually remember doing that, but I did do it. So animals, pets, for me personally, are something else that keeps me going, something that gives me a purpose. And I know in some cases, if people have got dogs, I have heard people say that it falls upon the carer to, to look after the dog as this disease progresses. And yeah, I do get that, and I do understand that. But for me personally, I wouldn't want to be without the cats coming in and out, bringing mice in at four o'clock in the morning. And um, look what I've got, Dad. And all of that sort of thing. And yeah, it is... It is good. And it's, it's such a great shame that the cats are not here because um, it would have been great if one had just jumped up on my lap and I could have I could have actually um, actually shown you a cat. But um, that hasn't happened. They in ah, in, now in saying that one has come in. Um, hang on. Come on. Look. Let me come. Oh. <sighs> there we go. This is our old cat and this is Biff. He had a bad accident um, many years ago and uh, had to have lots of plates and things put in his leg. But um, so there we are. That's that's one of the cats anyway. So pets, pets and dementia. Yeah, wonderful thing. They don't really demand a lot. They don't care what color, race, breed or anything we are or what diseases or conditions we got. They are just them. And as far as they're concerned, we are just us. And and that's that's a heartwarming thing. It's it's good to know that in a world where I forget names and I forget words and, and many other things, the cats don't care if I call it Biff, Bill, Brian, Tom, whatever. It doesn't make any difference, does it? So it's great to have them. Well, I said I'd do a little video about cats and or pets and I have. So next week I shall think of something else and um that I'm sure it's now a, a very nice, bright, sunny day here. No wind. So, you know what? I think I think the cycle and the open road is calling again while the weather still allows me. Have a great weekend, everybody. Have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next week. Thank you so much for listening again. Bye-bye.